Yes, students, let's start with the topic direct, indirect speech, which is called as reported speech also. Anyone who will share the views because this topic is not new for you. You have already covered it in previous classes also. Uh, quickly, raise your hands. Who will explain what is direct and indirect speech? Yes, come forward. Raise your hands quickly. Yes, Drik Bajaj. Ma'am, the direct speech is the speech when we uh, when we quote the words which are said by someone, and this, we say the exact same words in uh, the commas, inverted commas. But when we try to uh, when we tr uh, don't say the exact words, and we try to explain it by our own, and and we don't say that. Uh, we don't we try to explain it by own and that he has said this that he will do he would do this like that then we say that it is indirect we are not quoting the exact words said by the speaker yes isha sharma you want to say something yes yes beta yes isha sharma you want to explain anything more or extra that uh, Dhrig has given? No? Divya, yes, beta. So, indirect, indirect, you can simply say that we are saying those words to someone else rather than in the sentence. For example, the teacher said, I'm a good student, that you are a good student. Yes. So when I will express it to someone else, I will say that the teacher said that I was a good student. Okay. We okay. can say that we are coding the same words to someone. Hmm. Okay, very good. Means what is direct speech? Direct speech is a report of the exact words used by a speaker or writer. कि जो वर्ड स्पीकर ने बोले या किसी राइटर ने कहे उनको हम एज इट इज एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स जब रिपोर्ट करते हैं किसी तीसरे को दैट इज नोन एज डायरेक्ट स्पीच द वर्ड स्पोकन अपीयर विद इन द इनवर्टेड कॉमास एंड शुड बी एग्जैक्टली वर्ड टू वर्ड एज स्पोकन और रिटन हम उनको चेंज नहीं कर सकते सेम वर्ड्स जो है वो हम यूज करते हैं विद इन द इनवर्टेड कॉमास clear so what is direct speech the speech or the words that are spoken by the speaker exactly when they are put in the inverted commas they are known as direct speech you can see the example on the screen the teacher said to the students comma inverted commas taken you can go to stop inverted commas closed so here we are putting the exact words of the teacher in the form of speech this is reported speech given to you in the inverted commas and it is in the direct form direct form means no change exact words of the speaker speaker yahan kon hai teacher aur uske exact words jo hain wo inverted commas mein diye gaye hain clear now if we talk about the indirect speech when we report what someone said in our own words it is called indirect speech एक पर्सन बोलने वाला है दूसरा सुनने वाला है तीसरा आदमी जो है जिसको हम जाकर वो बात बता रहे हैं कि उन दोनों के बीच में क्या बात हुई ठीक है समटाइम्स व्हेन वी रिपोर्ट द थिंग्स टू समवन एल्स एंड देन वी रिपोर्ट दोज थिंग्स इन द इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच हियर वी डोंट यूज इन्वर्टेड कॉमर्स we don't write the exact words of the speaker or the writer we can change it according to some particular rules that is indirect speech you can see the example the teacher said to the students that they could go yahan change hai humne you can go ko change kar diya they could go we have made certain changes 
but we have not given the exact words. We have not put the speech in the inverted commas. So this is indirect speech. See, both direct and indirect speech have two parts. Let's try to understand very clearly that both direct and indirect speech have two parts of the sentence. One is known as reporting verb and the second is known as reported speech. And both these sentences are complete in themselves. What is reporting verb? Who said to whom? In the beginning of the sentence, we are told ki kisne kisko kaha. Jo speech di ja rahi hai, wo kisne kahi aur kisko kahi ja rahi hai. That means who said to whom. That is known as reporting verb. Second part, which is given in the inverted commas, is known as reported speech. The exact word spoken put within the inverted commas. This is known as reported speech. And when we change the direct form into indirect form, even then there are two parts, which are separated with the help of conjunctions. In the direct form, we have two parts of the sentence which are separated with the help of comma but in the indirect speech there are two parts of the sentence which are separated with the help of conjunctions. So remember that the first part, the beginning part is known as reporting verb who said to whom and second part is the reported speech. In the direct form, we have that speech in the inverted commas. In the indirect speech, we don't have the inverted commas there. We combine the sentence with the help of conjunction. Now note down these important points. While changing the direct form to indirect form, first thing, we'll remove the inverted commas. Direct speech we have seen. Is reporting verb and reported speech is separated with the help of comma and the reported speech is put in the inverted commas. When we'll change the direct speech to indirect speech, there will be no inverted commas. We'll remove those inverted commas. Second point, we add conjunction that if the sentence is in the simple form, simple you understand, affirmative sentences, declarative sentences, simple sentence may reported speech may then we'll add conjunction that after removing the inverted commas then change in verbs in reported speech will make some changes in the reported speech while changing the direct form into indirect form in the tenses these changes are in the verb verb means we will make some changes in the tenses in the reported speech then the fourth change is we will make some changes in the personal pronouns. Personal pronouns, you understand? That is persons. First, second, third person. Hamare paas sentence mein subject honge, object honge. That will also be changed according to some certain rules. Then the next change is change in nearness of time and place. That means if we are given any adverb in the sentence that denotes to time or place that will also be changed while changing the direct form into indirect form in the reported speech. So all these changes are in the reported speech. First, we'll remove the inverted commas. Second, we'll add conjunction that if the sentence is simple form. Third, we'll make the change in the verbs of the reported speech. Fourth one will change the pronouns and the fifth one will change the adverbs referring to time and place. Now let's move forward and have the first change. Anyone who will explain how we change the pronouns. Persons are coming, subject object are in the sentences in the direct form. Mein. How we are going to change those? Anyone who will explain this change? Quickly come forward, raise your hands. Yes, Isha Sharma. Yes, beta. The rest of the students also come forward, beta. Participate. You know everything. Already we have done it. Not a new topic for you. Yes, beta. Isha. Change in pronoun. 
here uh, we have to see the uh, so and rule subject object and noun here subject is uh, come first in reported speech and then object uh, followed by uh, followed by noun then first person in reported speech uh, have to uh, will have to change according to the subject in reported uh, reporting verb and then second a uh, person is the object in reporting and the third uh, uh, in third person we have to do no change okay anyone else anyone else come forward who wants to make any correction what she has said yes devishi beta you want to make any correction what she said um uh, mom in reported speech the first person like i my me it change uh, i changes to me and in second person i changes you, to it, me i changes to me i ko hum me mein kaise badal denge beta can you explain how i changes into me oh no? yes divya uh ma'am i will change into simple he she matlab possessive pronoun he she beta aise uh, kaise aap keh doge ki i ko hum he she karenge ya i ko hum me karenge you have some rule we have to change according to some rule i'm asking any correction you want to do in uh, explanation that isha has given everything was correct or anything wrong she has said Yes, Mahakmeet. Ma'am, in S O N rule, she said subject, object, noun. It is a subject, object. First, first person changes according to the subject. Second person changes according to the object. Uh, and third person change. Uh, th in third person, there is no change, but uh, she spoke noun in place of. Yes, no very good, very good. This is the correction which I want. S O N rule here refers to subject, object, and no change. Very good. Yes, will you explain the rule then? Yes, Mahakmeet, beta. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, if there is I in in the uh, I, then it will change according to the subject. If the subject okay. is uh, just like... wait, just wait. Let me first clear you all. Uh, how many persons are there? We have already discussed while doing the tenses. How many persons are there in English language? Yes, three persons. First person, second person, and third person. Yes. Who will explain what is first person? Come forward quickly. Raise your hands. Yes, Archana, beta. Archana. Yes, ma'am. What is first person, beta? The speaker. The person who is speaking, and who is second person? Yes, Archana. The second person, beta. The person, the person to uh, which the first person is talking, the listener. Yes, the listener, or to whom the first person is talking, and what is third person? the person about which the first and the second person are talking yes the person about whom the first and second person are talking yes parmeet kaur parmeet beta you are raising hand can you explain uh, the examples for the first person parmeet beta yes ma'am examples of first person we have discussed the person who is speaking is known as the first person can you give some examples of the words yes which words are taken in the first person parneet beta yes ma uh, yes which words are taken in the first person as subject as object Yes, Mahak Prabhakar. Like uh, Rita said. Yes, yes, yes. Continue. Rita said, "I am ill." Hmm. Uh, 
So here the uh, I is the first person. Yeah. Uh, give, is the first person. Give me only the words. Don't make sentences. I need only words. Can you tell the subjects of the first person only? Can we use I, we, me for first person? Yes, I and we. These two are the subjects only. If we talk about the subjects of the first person, that are only two, I and we. Now make the objects of these two. Objects of these two. Yes. Mahakvita. Um, it's me. Uh, yes. Me and? R. R, yes. O, U, R. R. We say R. And this, this is object. R is object. आपने voice भी करे हुए हैं बेटा। Voice में हम subject object change करते हैं ना। I से me हो गया object, V से R object नहीं है बेटा। V से क्या object? Sorry ma'am, it's us. Us. What will be the object of V? Us. And what is my and R? I से my, V से R. ये क्या है? I, we, subject ho gaya. Me, us, object ho gaya. My, or R kya hai? Yes, Drig Rajaj? Ma'am, possessive case. Yes, these are the possessive pronouns. Very good. What is possessive pronoun? We have discussed this also. What do you mean by the possessive pronoun? Any definition for this? Yes, Drig? What is possessive pronoun? Uh, Ma'am, uh, the pronouns in which we uh, talk about, uh, in which we relate someone with. Yes, relate means the word which shows, the word which shows us the relation of something to the other, one person to the other, one place to the other, that is known as possessive pronoun. Or you can say which tells us about the position. Okay, suppose I say, this is my pen. This is my pen. So my word, hum kya show ra, show kar ra hai? it is showing us the relation of my with the pen. Ki mera pen hai. It is your room. This is your book. This is his book. So these words, what do show? Karte hai? Position or the relation of one person to the other, one place to the other, one thing to the other. Okay, these are known as possessive pronouns. So what we have discussed, that first person, subjects, I and we, object, me and us, and pronouns, my, mine, or our, O, U, R, R. Okay, these are all first person. Sabko first person mein lena hai. Kuch subjects hain, kuch objects hain, kuch isme pronouns hain. And what is second person subject? Anyone? Second person subject, we have a word. Lete hai. Yes, Isha, what is um, You, yours. You is subject. What is the object of this? Object, what is You say? Yours. No. Yes. Anyone? What is the object of you? Ita, see, these are the basic things that you learn in the very junior classes. And we discussed this before starting the tenses. Yes, what is the object of you? Rhythm. Rhythm. Sushant. Sushant, what is the object of you, beta? Lavanya, yes. None object form of you is you only. Yes, subject and object is same. You is used as subject also, you is used as object also. And what is your? Mem po possessive case. Yes, your is the possessive case. And there is one word, yours. 
जो आप लेटर्स में लिखते हो देर इज नो कॉमा इन बिटवीन इट इज अ कम्बाइंड वर्ड योर्स अभी भी मिस्टेक कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स ठीक है सो यू इज यूज एज सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो यू इज यूज एज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो एंड योर्स योर इज यूज एज पोजेसिव केस एंड थर्ड पर्सन देवानश यस बेटा देवानश वॉट इज थर्ड पर्सन Devansh, beta, you are raising hand. Answer. Devansh, blue, rule number two. Please answer. Pushkar Soni, yes, beta. Um, he, she, it, or uh, any person, any person's name. Yes, he, she, it, they, or any naming word. Can you make the object of he? Make object from him, him or him, and from she, she her her and possessive case from he his his and from she hers her her beta not hers her it is used as object and possessive her is used as object as well as possessive. and if we go for they they what is the object of they them them is the object and possessive what is the possessive case of they ashish them. no them is the object beta ashish there 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 can you tell the spellings ashish t h e i r very good If we make the possessive of they, that is there, t h e i r, and what is t h e r e there? Difference. What is the difference, Ashish? Ashish, beta. What is the difference between? Ma'am, it is a demonstrative uh, pronoun. No, demonstrative. So these, those, होता है. There तो नहीं होता. adverb of place sorry can be adverb of place it can be used as introductory subject also there are 20 benches in the classroom he went there this is telling about the place theek hai yahan par hum spelling use karte t h e r e aur jab humne de ka possessive lena hua then the spellings are used t h e i r clear so be particular for this you are making uh, mistake for this also questions likhte hue bahut se students ne mistake kari hui hai ye dhyan rakha karo there t h e i r when it denotes to they so what we have discussed here about the change of the pronouns if in the reporting uh, verb we must see the subject and object n does not refer to noun it is means no change and 1 2 3 refers to first second and third person in the reported speech so what you have to see while changing the persons that if you have first person in the reported speech it will change according to the subject in the reporting verb first person in the reported speech that means jo hame speech inverted commas mein di gayi hai usme hamare paas अगर फर्स्ट पर्सन में कुछ भी यूज किया गया है कुछ भी मीन्स सब्जेक्ट भी हो सकता है आई भी हो सकता है ऑब्जेक्ट भी हो सकता है मी अब मी एंड अस प्रोनाउन भी हो सकता है पोजेसिव केस में माई अवर मीन्स कोई भी वर्ड आ जाता है फर्स्ट पर्सन में से सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट और पोजेसिव केस इट विल चेंज विद द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब कौन सा हुआ जो स्टार्टिंग में दिया गया हुआ है He said to me. Suppose this is the sentence with you. He said to me. Is my subject? Kya apka? He said verb me object. So what we will do? We'll change the first person with the subject of the reporting verb. Subject of reporting verb means he. के साथ हम change करेंगे. ठीक है? So please be careful for this thing that you are going to change with the subject of the reporting verb. but you are not going to change the status or the position of that word us word ki position nahi badloge agar word aapke paas subject tha 
तो आप सब्जेक्ट चेंज करोगे ही का सब्जेक्ट लगाओगे अगर ऑब्जेक्ट की पोजीशन थी तो ऑब्जेक्ट लगाओगे अगर प्रोनाउन की पोजीशन थी तो प्रोनाउन लगाओगे ये नहीं कि आपने सपोज आपके पास सेंटेंस आ रहा है आई के साथ शुरू हो रहा है तो आई को आप ही के साथ चेंज करोगे तो यू विल टेक ही एज सब्जेक्ट लेकिन अगर वहाँ पर मी है मी को आप ही के साथ चेंज करोगे तो आप ही नहीं लगाओगे वॉट यू विल यूज यू विल टेक द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ही मी ऑब्जेक्ट था ना तो उसकी जगह आपको ऑब्जेक्ट चाहिए यू विल टेक ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ही कि आपकी उसकी जगह क्या लगाओगे हिम इफ यू आर टेकिंग माई माई इज टू बी चेंज विद द सब्जेक्ट ही के साथ सब्जेक्ट चेंज करोगे माई की जगह क्या हो जाएगा इज मीन्स अगर आपकी रिपोर्टेड स्पीच में उस वर्ड की पोजीशन सब्जेक्ट की थी तो आप चेंज करके उसकी जगह सब्जेक्ट लगाओगे अगर ऑब्जेक्ट की पोजीशन है तो ऑब्जेक्ट लगाओगे अगर पोजेसिव केस है तो पोजेसिव केस लगाओगे चेंज सब्जेक्ट से ही करना है रिपोर्टिंग वर्ड के सब्जेक्ट से ही चेंज करना है लेकिन उसकी पोजीशन नहीं बदलनी है सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट पोजेसिव केस वॉट एवर द पोजिशन और द स्टेटस ऑफ दैट वर्ड इज इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इट विल रिमेन सेम इट विल नॉट चेंज क्लियर सो फर्स्ट पर्सन इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच विल चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट इन द रिपोर्टिंग वर्क सेकेंड पर्सन इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच विल चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑब्जेक्ट इन द रिपोर्टिंग वर्क सेकेंड पर्सन मीन्स अगर आपके पास यू सब्जेक्ट की फॉर्म में आ रहा है यू ऑब्जेक्ट की फॉर्म में आ रहा है या योर पोजेसिव केस में आ रहा है इट विल चेंज विद द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट क्या हमारे पास रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब में ही सेट टू मी वॉट इज ऑब्जेक्ट हेयर मी तो किससे चेंज करोगे आप मी के साथ यू को मी के साथ चेंज किया अगर सब्जेक्ट चाहिए तो आप आई लगाओगे अगर ऑब्जेक्ट चाहिए तो आप मी लगाओगे पोजेसिव चाहिए तो माई लगाओगे ठीक है उसकी पोजिशन नहीं बदलनी है देन इफ वी हैव थर्ड पर्सन इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इट विल नॉट चेंज नो चेंज इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इफ इट इज गिवन इन द थर्ड पर्सन ही शी इट दे या इसके ऑब्जेक्ट या इसके पोजिटिव केस आ रहे हैं देन दे विल बी नो चेंज सो प्लीज रिमेंबर चेंज इन द प्रोनाउंस यू कैन रिमेंबर इन शॉर्ट दिस फॉर्मूला एस ओ एन विद वन टू थ्री एस ओ एन रिलेट्स टू द रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब अ वन टू थ्री रिपोर्ट्स टू द रिलेट्स टू द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच दैट मीन्स फर्स्ट पर्सन चेंजेस विद द सब्जेक्ट सेकेंड पर्सन चेंजेस विद द ऑब्जेक्ट थर्ड पर्सन नो चेंज बट don't change the position or the status of that word it is to be changed according to the subject object of the reporting verb but the position will remain same subject hai to subject hi lagana hai change karke object hai to object hi lagana hai agar pronoun hai to jaise case mein to pronoun hi lagana hai uski position nahi badalni hai clear so i am leaving it here we'll continue tomorrow uh, you have already uh, done these in your previous classes also so it's not a new topic for you come with the revision tomorrow we'll discuss the rest rules for the tenses and uh, the adverbs